people coming here that have come all the way from, um, I say all the way, I don't actually know the distance, but from the Isle of Man, we've got people from Scotland, we've got a, a single lady who's travelled on the train all the way down in her wheelchair from Scotland, we've got um, people from South, from Sussex, so I really think that the fan club for the Horton Weavers is made up of people all over the country and they're so popular that people are prepared to travel to come and see them. I don't know if you know the difference between traditional and contemporary songs. Contemporary songs, uh, we, you know who wrote them. So uh, you pay royalties on contemporary songs. Traditional songs, the songs that we don't know who wrote the songs, so you don't pay royalties. We do a lot of traditional songs. They have a certain um, natural charm about them. Both Chris and I sing ourselves and we just love picking, like, listening to the harmonies and the really rich voices that they're on. They've got a really nice way of making you feel like they're really glad you're here. I understand the jokes, which is a first. It's the only place in the country you can get a wigging kebab. That's seven meat pies on a stick. A balanced diet in Wigan is a meat pie in each hand. You could take anybody to see them. You know, I could even take my granddaughter if I wanted to do, because there's nothing in there that would be offensive or... Um, and they're just really down to earth. I think it's the way they transport you back to, uh, to your childhood of our age group, really. You know, the, the nostalgia, that they, the, the pattern between the songs and the... Um, I don't know, the camaraderie between them and the audience as well. They're happy, they, you know, they keep folks smiling. And in this sad world, it's lovely to have somebody who's so genuine and they're so nice to everybody. Do make them welcome once again, the Horton Weavers! was his name he was born and raised in ireland in a place called castle maine he was his father's only son his mother's pride and joy and till he did his parents love a while of 16 years he left his native home and to Australia's sunny shores he was inclined to roam he robbed the rich he held the poor he shot James McAvoy a terror to Australia was a wild colonial boy one morning on the prairie as Jack he rode along and listening to the mockingbird a singing a cheerful song up stepped a band of troopers Kelly Davis and Fitzroy they'd all set out to capture him a while Jack Duggan, for you see, we're three to one. Surrender in the king's high name, you are a plundering son. Jack drew two pistols from his belt, he proudly waved them high. I'll fight, but not surrender, said the wild colonial boy. Jack fired a shot at Kelly, which brought him to the ground. Then turning round to Davis, he received a fatal wound. A bullet pierced his proud young heart from the pistol of Fitzroy. And that was how they captured him. Well done.